Hello and welcome to the first look at Total War Three Kingdoms. Today we're going to be playing through a single battle. It's 199 CE and the events of the Three Kingdoms era are well underway. The tyrant Dong Zhuo is long dead, murdered by his adoptive son Lu Bu. He's one of the greatest warriors of the period, who is now threatening to combine his strength with Wan Shu and overwhelm all opposition. However, Lu Bu sits in CRP, isolated from his would-be ally. The legendary commander Cao Cao senses an opportunity to strike Lu Bu down before his strength becomes too great. After months of long siege warfare and with the defenders starved of resources, Cao Cao now senses the time is right. Here, behind the walls of CRP, Lu Bu stands in the centre, preparing to fight against the approaching march of Cao Cao. Here we are on the battlefield. The final assault is about to begin. We have Cao Cao, the legendary commander, leading his men into battle. We're going for a two-pronged approach. Cao Cao shall lead his forces through the breach, while Yi Jin will march his forces to the gatehouse and smash through and take the main concourse. But before we move forwards, we need to lay the groundwork for our assault. We're going to raise their walls to the ground. With that underway, we're going to move our heavy spear guard up towards the front gate for the attack on the wall. Let's take a look at these heavy spear guard. They're currently in the turtle formation, using their tall shields together, with the flag bearers in the center to protect from missile fire, which will greatly aid us in this assault. Lubu is holding his position in the center of CRP, waiting for someone worthy enough to fight. In Three Kingdoms, there are unique items which can be given to your generals. Here we see Lubu's horse and weapon are unique to him. But should he be slain, you could loot his items and keep them for yourself. Here we have one of our generals under Cao Cao. Different generals can recruit different kinds of units. These two are leading their forces together. Yi Jin is a guardian type hero, a combat master who excels in the heart of battle, tanking and soaking up damage. While our strategist is not great in a fight, he is incredibly useful for debuffing enemy units and allows us access to unique formation types. The gap on the left is now wide enough for us to make our great assault on the settlement. Cao Cao and his retinue are going to move up. Cao Cao himself is a commander, and they excel at buffing up nearby allied troops rather than wading into combat themselves. So we won't be seeing him being the first through the breach. He's too valuable for that. We will instead be pushing up the Yellow Dragons. They are being supported by the Azure Dragons, a hybrid heavy spear and missile infantry unit. They will first hold back and fire over the walls with their bows, and once they've spent all their ammunition, they will join in on the front line. Let's move our heavy spears forward to climb the walls. Now is the time to press the attack. Getting the Azure Dragons firing, and now charging forwards with the Yellow Dragons. Is there a heart beating in that spineless body? Is there a brain inside that cavernous head? These heavy hitting axe units are a formidable foe for anyone they go up against. They will make very short work of these spears. Let's check up on the center attack. The settlement is now on fire from the barrage of arrows, and our men are getting over the walls and getting stuck into the enemy. Yes! Back them! Cousin, we come to aid you. We ride with fury at our back. Our reinforcements have arrived. This huge mass of cavalry will be the perfect thing to break Lubu's men. We'll charge them into this spear infantry. They're going to knock these guys flying and destroy their mind. Our reinforcements are led by Zhe Hao Dun. He was shot in the eye by an arrow in battle against Lubu. He pulled it out, his eye still attached to the arrow, and proceeded to eat it. And we're going to get him out of the fight and head over to Lubu, who we're going to challenge to a duel. Duels are a new feature for Three Kingdoms, where the two heroes will duke it out in single combat until one either dies or retreats. Duels can help you single out an enemy combatant and take them out and turn the tide of battle.
This battle is heating up. To see who wins, stay tuned for all of our coverage coming out of E3 next week, or join us on the show floor itself for the full experience.